Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focus Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic, the tongue as a window to the systemic disease. Cranial nerves part 71, hypoglossal nerve 12th nerve part 2. So tongue as a window to systemic disease. Cranial nerves part 71 and uh, hypoglossal nerve 12th nerve part 2. Tongue as a window to systemic disease. Clinical examination. Motor power can be tested by having the patient press the tip of the tongue against each cheek as the examiner tries to dislodge it with finger pressure. When unilateral weakness is present, the tongue deviates towards the weak side on protrusion because of the action of the normal genioglosses which protrudes the tongue by drawing the root forward. The tongue deviates always towards the weak side fasciculations are present in LMN lesions. Tremor will usually disappear when the tongue is lying at rest in the mouth, whereas fasciculations persist. The tongue as a window to systemic disease. What are the clinical findings and what are the associated conditions? If there is ankloglossia, it may simulate paresis. Macroglossia, that is a large tongue, it can be seen in hypothyroidism, down syndrome, amyloidosis, neurofibromatosis, sarcoidosis, GM1 ganglosidosis, glycogen storage diseases, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, limb girdle muscular dystrophy, some forms, polymyositis, and mucopolysaccharidosis. Angioma, hematoma, and lymphoma. When there is atrophic glossitis, it could be associated with vitamin B12 deficiency, folate deficiency or iron deficiency. When there is a scarlet, red and, and swollen tongue, it could be because of pellagra in acute stages. When there is purplish or magenta hue tongue, we have to think of riboflavin deficiency. When there is a scrotal tongue, the associated condition may be melkerson rosenthal syndrome. The geographic tongue is seen in conditions of benign rugosity of unknown etiology. If there is a glossodynia, it could be early glossitis, tobacco abuse, heavy metal intoxication, menopausal symptoms and pellagra. If there is a longitudinal lingual fissure, we have to think of syphilitic glossitis. If there is lingual ulceration, it could be lingual chancre in syphilis or Behet's disease. If there is a bitten tongue, it could be because of the generalized tonic clonic seizures. So, these are all the important and fascinating concepts of a tongue as a window to systemic disease. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this lecture. The other important concepts of neurology, I have put it in a question answer format in the book Focus Neurology written by me, Dr. S. Srinivas. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. If interested, this book could be purchased. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this concepts of the tongue as a, as a window to systemic diseases. If you have enjoyed it, please like it, please share it, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel Dr. Sinvas Medical Concepts and my webpage Dr. Sinvas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.